Or you don't have to ever fucking wonder again why I keep my fucking foot firmly planted on your wrinkly ball sack neck, okay? Day about every single aspect of my life. Mm. CPS was called on her. Did it make a difference? Did it change her life at all? Nope, it sure didn't. The only thing she does now is she doesn't talk about fucking Molly. That's the only difference. That's what CPS does. Now she's not talking about Molly. Well, maybe if I do it, she'll- Well, Lori, you tried it and it didn't work, right? Shut the fuck up about me, because I don't know what else to- All right, so I had a clip all that to show you guys that Obviously, I wasn't actively uh, posting or on YouTube, but I was watching because uh, I had my suspicions, okay, about Laura when I left YouTube. Um, because really, I wasn't, there was nobody else that I was really having, like, issues with at the time, okay? And it was pretty clear that it came from Laura. <clears throat> and Laura kept making these strange comments about drinking and driving, okay? She kept making these strange comments about drinking and driving with your kid in the car. Well, guess what? I never talked about this live. I never came on... I, after CBS came to my house, I fucking got off the internet and never talked about it on my on my live streams, okay? Ever. I just left for four months, okay? And she kept making these comments about drinking and driving in the car. That's part of what was reported verbatim to CPS when they came to my house. That's, that is... There was maybe two or three people that I spoke to that actually knew that. Two or three people that actually knew that. So I knew she had something to do with it. The fact that she kept making that statement over and over and over again about drinking and driving with your kid in the car. So I was just reached out to recently by one of Laura's ex-friends, okay? And uh, <laughs> we had an inf interesting conversation. They emailed me and then we got, you know, we, we spoke on the phone yesterday. And uh, here's what I was told, okay? Laura went to Kroger, the food store, got a uh, burner phone, okay? Put it in the name of Tremley. Tremley. You guys remember Michael Tremley? Okay. And that's what she did to make the call. And she wanted people to believe that the call was coming from uh, somebody that, you know, I knew in my real life. So she put it in a New York number and I guess she named herself Tremley and uh, she, she made the call. And here's the proof. Here's the proof because I got all the proof. So Laura was just advocating the other day about, you know, fake CPS calls and all that shit, all that shit. But we're going to take a look. And this is fucking real. This is fucking real, okay? The two people that I spoke to yesterday, I know for a fucking fact that they have they were longtime friends of Laura's. Longtime friends of Laura's, okay? So they're not fucking making this shit up. So this is from, they just found out about it. I just want to put that out there. I crossed out their names. I crossed out everybody's names because you know how Laura rolls. You know how her group rolls, okay? She's going to go after people. She's going to fucking try to fuck with people, dox them, and go after them. Laura, I'm telling you right now, you go after any of these fucking people. You so much as fucking contact them. I know your ass is coming up here in two weeks, and if you want to be in fucking handcuffs when you come up here, I would leave these fucking people alone if I was you, okay? Because I know where your fucking friend lives, your friend Katie, and I know where you're fucking going. I got a lot of friends that are cops out here, Laura, <laughs> unlike you. You think you're, you're going to call your brother who's a city cop, who's a retired city cop? Guess what? He ain't going to do shit out here. So this is from September 28th of this year. Now, these people have been trying to hint to me that Laura was uh, doing this. And this is from, I think it's from a Facebook uh, chat that they had. Laura in her Facebook chat is always getting her in trouble. So this is Laura messaging the other person. And Laura, I'm telling you, you better leave these fucking people alone, girl. Leave them the fuck alone. Oh, yeah, she'll be busy spitting on graves. That's right. So this is Laura. Is this a fucking joke? And she posts a screenshot from her live. And I remember this live. I remember this fucking live where she was playing this panda thing. And the person who was friends with her writes in her chat, I'm not insecure at all, bitch, but I'm also not a CPS caller either, bitch. You should have shut your damn mouth. Laura writes back, is she really fucking doing this? I have said nothing about her. And that is so Laura. That's so her fucking, you know, lingo right there, right? So then it goes to, uh, to this. All right. Oh, I thought you tried to call her a DM or I called her once. All right. It says, Nora, call me back. So the person writes, CPS caller, why would she say that about you? That is a strange thing to say. And then here's Laura answering back. Because I called on MM two years ago. You, blank, blank, and blank are the only four that knew. So she's going to tell MM, I didn't do a fucking thing to blank. Oh, I, oh, fuck. I have every right to defend myself against Janelle's fake bullshit. Now, Laura was so paranoid. For some reason, she thought that I was, I was talking to, uh, to Janelle. I, I don't know why she thought that, but she did. So... So the person writes back, no, I never knew that, honestly. Let me sink this in, okay? Um, and she, so she's responding to this text. No, this is not going to happen. I will reach out to her. Let me think, okay? Then um, the person writes, have you contacted her? Laura writes, what? Fuck no. Why the fuck would I? She claims she left because of Crystal, yet now it's all about me. And now me. All the typos and everything, just say it all, okay? Because you said you still wanted to work things, so I thought you were going to. 
Laura writes back, I have, oh, fuck, oh my God, I'm sorry. I have not said a bad word about her. Blank, look at our chats. I tried talking like five times and she never responded to any of it, so I gave up. And then they write back, oh, I thought you tried to call or DM her and I can't see the other word, okay? Laura writes, she blocked me. I have not done a fucking thing to her or said a fucking bad word about her. What the fuck is going on? And to add to this, some in <laughs> informed me not to speak of them at all due to police. Like what? Like, oh my God, I responded to Janelle. Lies and misinformation. I am so allowed to do so. Okay, this is so Laura writing this, obviously. Okay. Um, they responded back. This makes no sense to me, Laura. Police. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Someone threatening you and your mods. Oh, wow. I feel like I am in the twilight zone here. Laura writes back. I can only assume this person knows what's going on. No reason for this person to BS me. I don't really know what they're talking about here. And then this person writes back. Do they know Capone or someone? Janelle? I don't know. Laura writes. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I haven't done a fucking thing. So now I can't even stick up for myself without worrying they will out all my secrets. Like, fuck you. Do what you need to do. You look worried, Laura. You look a little fucking worried. Say something, LOL, because Laura wasn't getting a response right away. She's shitting her pants right now because her secrets are about to be exposed and she knows it. Sorry. Fuck. So they say, sorry, I'm on the phone with this. has nothing to do with the conversation, so I just crossed it out. I honestly think if, any, if anyone would have, they would have by now. No one wants to hurt you and your family. These women loved you and your kids. I don't know about that person who texted you, though. I would hope they would not, but as far as blank, I don't know what's wrong, but she is an honest and, lo and loyal to a fault. That's very true. That's my feelings. Even if I left, I would never do that, okay? So Laura writes back, well, she blocked me and I did say it. Please do not trill a soul. But blank is the one who told me that. I don't see blank lying to me. They say, I won't say anything. It's fucked up. I have legit said nothing baff about her. Quite the opposite. So they write, she was upset in the chat a while. Laura writes, I had every right to respond to the Janelle bullshit. She made it public, not me. And then I can't really see what's on there and it really doesn't fucking matter. Okay. And then she says she was upset in the chat a while. Laura writes, I had every right to respond. And then she gives, she sends voice messages and they say, I'm sorry, I'm running to the bathroom. Now, I don't know where this one fits in, but this is another one. Of course, MM did that. You still here and Janelle knows that. Number one now, blank hates me. LOL. I think blank was trying to warn me knowing Janelle was feeding MM info, but Janelle didn't know about CPS call. Now, I never talked to Janelle, so I have no, Laura's just fucking paranoid. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about that Janelle's feeding me info. Like, I'm so lost. But again, notice what Laura says here. But Janelle didn't know about CPS call. Only people that knew are me, you, blank, and blank. And then she adds another one and blank. Okay? Four people. And the fucking bitch deserved it. I would do it again if it wasn't so fucking obvious. If it wasn't so obvious. LOL. True that. You guys see that right there? I would do it again if it wasn't so obvious. So now she has not only admitted to it once, but she admits to it twice. And Laura, try to fucking... I can't wait to see what this motherfucker is going to say about this shit. Can't fucking wait to see what this motherfucker is going to say about this shit. <clears throat> Here's the other one, just in case you missed it. Okay? These are real, dude. I don't know. Laura's going to probably try to say that they're fake. But Laura, if I have to get a fucking screen recording, I probably can. Okay? These are fucking as real as could be. And, uh, you know, I just find it funny. Now, what happened was Laura went on a fucking whole rampage the other day going and, you know, made, yes, it is a fucking crime. So that's what I'm saying. Laura, you fuck with any of these people. I'm telling you, you contact them, you fucking dox them, anything, anything. I know your ass is going to be here in two weeks. Okay. I know your ass is going to be here in two weeks. Leave these fucking people alone, Laura. You've been fucking busted out. It's fucking over. I knew it was you the whole time because you fucking like to tell on yourself because you're such a fucking narcissist that you can't not tell on yourself. You can't not tell on yourself. So Laura even lied to these people, the people that knew. She lied as to what she said on the call because what she said was so disgusting. And just use your imagination, okay? Use your imagination on what she said because I'm won't. i not putting my kid through that and I'm not putting that shit out there like Laura does. I don't fucking exploit my kid. But the one thing I will say is the drunk driving thing was the first fucking thing that they said when they came to my fucking house. And Laura kept saying it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. And her fucking excuse for doing this to me. Hold on. That's exactly what they said. Driving drunk with my kid in the fucking car. Laura knows for goddamn fucking... She knows I don't drink. And you want to know what's funny? I'm going to bring you guys back even further. The day prior to the call that was made. So all these trolls that came into my chat that day. Grace and all them. Those were Laura and her people in my chat. Grace, right, Laura? You remember that account? Grace, tell me I was going to have a Colombian necktie only you fucked it up because you're stupid. Laura blamed me for outing her food stamps prior to this. And I'm going to show you guys. First of all, I never outed Laura's food stamps. 
I said to, um, on a live stream, Laura was saying that people were welfare and they couldn't afford her candles. And what I said was, Laura, don't forget where you came from. Okay. Shortly after that, and I'll show you guys the screenshot, Laura was fucking, had her stupid paperwork in her fucking bag and she showed it on a live stream. So if I go back to my live, this was a day prior. This is where the drunk driving thing came from. Towards the end of my live that day, we were talking about alcoholic beverages, but we were talking about just drinking and alcohol. Fucking normal because that's what my family did. You know, all, all my aunts and all. Oh, okay. Here it is. We're talking about alcohol on this my live. Mom. And have my mom come pick us up because I was like, dude, I'm not going to even make it. Like, I was talking about being so drunk at a wedding. I was falling asleep at the table. It was a cocktail hour. Like, we didn't even make it to the fuck. So it's just, I was talking about a time where I got, like, really drunk at a wedding. So that's probably where she got the drinking and driving thing from. Because this was the day prior. When they came here, they told me that they called that morning. But, like, really, I barely talked about her in this in this live stream except to, you know... I, what The things that were going on at the time was that Laura doxed out Just Angel's information. So we were talking about that. And she was mad. And it was really just to shut me up, obviously. You know? And she used the whole food stamps thing as an excuse. Okay? So if Laura's going to sit there, here's my thing. If Laura's going to sit there and put this fucking act on, like she's so innocent, right? This whole thing. What's not to say that Laura's going to put an act on and call on her own fucking kids? I, I always thought this for years, okay? But now I think it more than ever, that Laura called on herself. Number one, it made money. But number two, it got the heat off of her. Because I don't think she liked, you know, Laura, Laura was probably shitting herself. Uh, she could try to deny this, but Laura, you can't deny it because the two people that, that I spoke to yesterday, I talked to two, two people, okay? Those two people, and I'm telling you right now, Laura, if you fuck with these people in any way, shape, or form, you're, you're going to have a fucking problem on your hand. I always thought that, I'm like, wow, how convenient. Laura gets a call a week later, and, you know, the way she acted during that time about that call, it was all very strange. And there's, you know, she probably needed money. You saw the money on her screen, 200, 200, 200, 200, okay? I think that she did that to throw the attention off of her because people were accusing her of, of calling on me. And she was trying to get the attention off of her. And so I wouldn't put it past her to call on herself at this point, especially. So she tried to use Tremley's name. That was the name she used on the report. And there, when I spoke to the person yesterday, they confirmed some of the details, some of the other details that were reported in my call. Only Laura twisted them a little bit because what she really said was really sick. And she didn't want to tell those people exactly what she said. So she kind of twisted it a little bit. But when they told me that, I knew because there's only, I never talked about this on here. I never fucking told details about this on here ever. You guys got to remember, I left YouTube after that day. I did not come back live. I didn't talk about it. To this day, I have not talked about it. So for Laura to be making all these statements on here, especially the thing about the drinking and driving, because that was one of the main parts of the of the call, um, saying that verbatim what Laura was saying in these live streams, uh, she wanted to try to make it seem like it was somebody talking some shit. So, <laughs> Laura, you're a piece of shit. You are a fucking sensitive bitch. But I always knew Laura had to, obviously, had a part in this, or if, if she didn't pick the phone up herself, she had a part in it. And she really sits there and wonders why I keep my fucking boot on her neck. She really does. Knowing that she fucking did this. She really sits around and acts like a fucking victim. Laura, you fuck with my family, it's over. I've told you that, dude. I've told you that. I fucking told you that, dude. You think I'm gonna fucking let my boot off your fucking big wrinkly neck? You really think that's gonna happen? So this is what Laura showed in her bag, okay? And everybody saw it, but she blames me for outing herself, uh, her for the food stamps. That, that's her excuse. That's why she kept bringing it up. But she had proof... Okay, she had proof. So it says you want something about want a conference on food stamps. That's what it says right here, or whatever, food assistance. If you are not satisfied with blah, blah, blah. So to me, this looks like Laura requested a conference of some sort. And then it's, it, it asks if you want a hearing or some shit like that. This is what she showed. There's a clearer version out there somewhere, but I couldn't find it yesterday. So this is what I found. But there's like a way clearer version where you could actually see what it says very good on there. And, um, and in the weeks later... She posted this on her her community page. I don't I don't know the date to this, but uh, just know that if you're sitting in Laura's chat right now, you're supporting a fucking somebody who lies. Not only lies fucking incessantly, okay, but you're supporting somebody who just a few days ago went up on a fucking live stream. <laughs> Laura's Kroger burner phone. <laughs> yes. I'm the problem. Yeah, she'll blame the phone. She'll blame the... Oh, what the fuck? I gotta... Oh, you don't even sell burner phones at Kroger. Let me prove that, Laura. Let's prove it, okay? Let's prove it. You want me to prove that, too?
So she posts this on her fucking screen. You know, Laura, you shouldn't lie. This is what karma is. There's nothing I could really do to Laura to fucking make her life any worse than it is. Karma has been good to her. That's all I could say. Um, she posts this. She's talking to Tremley in this. I don't know. I don't know where the other half of the fucking screenshot is. Request for additional information. Okay? We have received information which may affect your food stamp eligibility. I don't know what else it says. Um, make proper decisions. We must have... More information has been something about the following. And, and she circles this. It has been reported that you... And then she cut it off on purpose. Your current income... Uh, blah, 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 blah. You will need to provide your case made close. <clears throat> they they have to reassess your, your eligibility every periodically. And so there's no proof that it was reported, quote unquote, because your income is going to be reported to the, the state office, okay? Because they don't want to be just giving these out to somebody and then they went and got a job and they're making more money and they don't need them. So they're constantly reassessing your financial situation to see if you still qualify. <clears throat> a redetermination. Yes, she knows that. She knows this. But she used this to try to make it seem like, you know, she was uh, being reported. So she could be a victim. And so that everybody, you know, there's a reason for it. Uh